Welcome back everyone, Michael here with Offshore Citizen. Today I'm going to introduce you to a little known European tax haven, you're going to be surprised, uh, in Europe for freelancers. Okay, so this is not necessarily for, you know, people running huge companies that are making all kinds of money, etc., but for freelancers, people who are, well, I'm going to cover it with you, service-based businesses, etc., sometimes people selling courses online, etc., digital nomads. This can be a great place where you can pay 4% tax. So I'm going to get into that with you, uh, tell you where it applies, where it doesn't, how it works, why it works, and you know maybe it's right for you. Before we do that, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, click the notification bell to get reminded of any upcoming videos. Don't miss them. If you're at all interested in these subjects of how to reduce your tax, pay the lowest legal amount of tax possible, uh, forming offshore companies, opening bank accounts, getting second residencies, citizenships, etc. Please reach out to us, clarity.fm forward slash Michael Rosner. You can book a call with me, link in the description below. Or you can visit our websites, offshorecitizen.net, offshorecapitalist.com. All right. So what is this little known uh, European tax haven? Uh, this is Slovenia, okay? And if you know anything about Slovenia, you're like, what? No, 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 this cannot be. This cannot be. Slovenia is a high tax country, which it is. Uh, you know, it's terrible, etc. That is all true. Okay, that is all true. But if you're not earning too much money, so but under 100,000 euros a year, uh, you could pay as low as 4% tax. So who does it now? I'm going to caveat that. That should be your. That has to be your net income that uh, does not. You don't have a whole bunch of expenses that you got to there. Okay, so that's the the key thing that works. And I'm going to explain to you. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few other, uh, other programs in the future as well in Europe where you can get really good treatment like this uh, in the same sort of way. We use something similar in Bulgaria, there's something similar in Romania, there's a few different places where you can take advantage of this type of structure, but we're talking today about Slovenia. So this is based on the fact that you have high margins. So let's talk about who this would be good for. This would typically be good for somebody who's say selling some sort of an online course, like a, a digital product, so you have very high margins or you're doing a service business where you are the person, okay? So maybe you're a developer, maybe you're a web designer, maybe you're, you know, whatever. There could be a bunch of different uh, people who could fit into this category, okay? So you say, okay, perfect. You know, that's, that's me or it's not me, whatever it is for you. All right, let's assume that it is you, okay? You're one of those people. So what does this mean? You don't have employees because employees are gonna be, you know, relatively high part of your cost base. Uh, you don't have a fixed cost of goods sold, which is eroding into your margins. And, you know, you're not huge in terms of the income you're making, okay? Why would this apply to you? Well, basically the way this works is you would sign up as a sole proprietor, what's an SP in Slovenia, okay? Now, under the SP uh, tax regime, you can uh, opt for something called lump sum costs, okay? What does lump sum costs mean? Basically, they just pick a, take like a fixed amount and they say, hey, here is your cost and we're going to allow you to write that portion off, okay? That happens to be 80% of your expenses, okay? So what you're actually going to get taxed at is a rate of 20%, okay? So 20%, not so low. But let's do the math. Let's say you make 100,000 euros in a year, okay? So you make 100,000 euros. Now you're going to get to deduct expenses and you don't need to like, you don't actually have to have these expenses. That's the important part, right? They'll basically, rather than having you say, okay, do itemized deductions, et cetera, so you don't get to do that, right? So that's the trade-off. This is why I'm saying, listen, if you have employees, you would normally write off their wages. If you have, you know, cost of goods sold, maybe you're, you know, buying products from China and drop shipping them, then you've got shipping expenses and you've got payment processing fees, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't get to write all that stuff off, okay? So that's the trade-off. I'm going to tell you in a minute about how maybe you can get the best of both worlds, but we'll get into that. So how would this work? This would work as, let's say that you're earning consulting income, okay? You're in that consulting income. You don't have any expenses really, right? Like, okay, maybe you receive wires for your payments. Uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, high payment processing costs or anything like that. You aren't delegating to employees. You don't have, it, it's just your time is your, your cost, right? Then what you would do is you would get to say, okay, my 100,000 euros, I can pull 80,000 euros out of that, right, as my expenses, and I have 20,000 euros left on which I have to pay 20% tax. So 20% on 20,000 works out to 4,000. So on 100,000, you paid a 4% tax rate, okay? Very interesting program, you know, not necessarily for everybody, certainly, you know, not for a lot of people, but in this world of digital nomads, you know, this could be a really interesting, interesting way to go. Now, 
uh, you could go and you could move to Sylvania. It's not that difficult to get a residency there. It does take quite a bit of time. The process is pretty slow, but you could go and you could set up residency there. It takes about six months or so. Uh, if you're interested in that, reach out to us. Happy to help you with that or work with you. And you know, you can't actually you can't actually do this initially. Like you can't qualify for a residency permit on the basis of being uh, so uh, like a, uh, an SP as they call it. So you have to do another program. Then you get in there, and after you're in, then you set up as an SP. You operate in this way, and you know, off you go. Now, Slovenia doesn't have a super fast path to citizenship, so it's not going to get you there very quickly. And you'd have to learn Slovenian, which is, you know, not necessarily the language that a lot of people want to learn. So, you know, depending on where you're from, maybe that works for you, maybe it doesn't. If you start to become a high income earner, right, then this program doesn't work for you. That's not really an option. Uh, what about if you're somebody who you're like, hey, listen, I'm, you know, I'm not in this situation, but I'd like to take advantage of that. And by the way, you know, okay, you're going to go and live in Sylvania. So do you want to live in Sylvania? I mean, some people love the nature. It's considered to be the cleanest country in Europe. It's quite organized, it's quite safe, etc. There's a bunch of things that you could like about Slovenia. I find, you know, you go to Ljubljana, which is the, the capital, it's pretty small, it's pretty boring. Maribor is the other one. Uh, there's, you know, some nice mountains there. There's great caves, fantastic, best caves that I've ever been to are in Slovenia. So, you know, you could check that out. I, for me, it's a little bit quiet. It's not really to my taste, but, you know, for a place to visit, it's cool. Some people, they like that stuff. So if you're one of those people, awesome. Here's what you could do if you're not in this situation, okay, where you do have these hard expenses. So then what you do is you have a foreign company. The foreign company earns money and deducts from the, the income. Okay, so that's all your write-offs. That's your contractors overseas. That's your cost of goods sold. That's all this stuff. Then your foreign company pays you a wage, okay, and that wage, you're a sole proprietor in that situation. Okay, you say, okay, great, I'm a sole proprietor. I earn my 100,000 euros a year or less, right? Uh, I write off, or I, I get to claim a lump sum cost of 80% of that. I pay 20% on the remainder. I'm in a pretty good situation. It's a pretty hidden tax haven. So anyway, that's kind of the basic idea of how you can take advantage of it if it fits for you, okay? Maybe it's not, it's, not, it's certainly not for everybody, but I like these little hidden gems that people don't know about and so happy to bring it to you. If you're interested in this, if you're interested in other programs, if you're interested in residencies, citizenships, like I said, international tax planning, asset protection, forming companies, opening bank accounts, etc., reach out to me, quarter.fm forward slash Michael Rosmer, there's a link below, or check out our websites, offshorecitizen.net, offshorecapitalist.com, and don't forget to smash the subscribe button, click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please tell me in the comments why. We'd love to hear from you. If you have other ideas of videos you'd like to see, please put them in the comments. We'd love to hear about that as well. And I'm going to look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.